I'm very excited to share this short film about the journey of our collaborative pilot project to co-produce a new Plymouth fish finger. This fish finger will be healthy and sustainable and ensure that local fish remains within the local supply chain and then enters the school meal system, so benefiting the wider community. Our Food Sequel community research discovered that local people want better access to affordable and tasty fish. Then with our partners and stakeholders, we explored ways of making this a reality. You will be hearing from some of our amazing local team who share their experience of running this small scale pilot, which was made possible through the Food Sequel Research Project. The initial research was done by workshops where people just told us what they preferred, what they felt they needed. Some people told us stories of their history, things that have brought memories back and mainly people were looking for fish that was more accessible, easy to get hold of and cheaper. The only fish that they can get up with is cod and the whole point of Food Sequel is to make food easier to get hold of. The Plymouth Fish Finger is an idea that I've had in my head for a long time. To use fish that are commonly either discarded or get a very low value on the market or sometimes are landed and not even sold and then give that fish a value so that it is not wasted. If the fishermen are getting more money for the fish they catch, not only is the fishermen benefiting but it's the shoreside businesses and their families and the local community has more money in it. I hope people are aware that they're, they're, they're putting into a community, not just a big business. All these small coastal communities, villages and that, that depend on it to be viable. I, I'm going to say morally it would benefit me because some of the bycatch, if it can't be sold, will get dumped, it'll go to landfill. We've got many, many species which are good, healthy eating for people. Um, and they're just not very, very popular or made aware that they are there. I think once people, if they're aware they're there and they're eating them, um, I think they'll come back for more. The nature of what we do is that we don't mind working with species that are generally undervalued or underconsidered. We're trying to pay the fishermen a fair price for what they've landed, but the market for them is relatively small. When the university suggested that we work with them on getting local fish into local schools, we absolutely jumped on the idea. We knew that we wanted the students to co-design the fish finger. We had to get to the point in the product development where we were giving them things which were kind of possible. So we started with the product development in a really small way. What happens if we fry it like this? Does it make a huge difference if the fish is frozen or fresh? What happens if you chop it up and can you get it to stick together? How do we get the crumb whatever that's going to be, to stick to it. Making food on scale is very, very different to making food in a domestic environment. So it's trying to minimise the labour and the steps to make these fish fingers. I think everybody sort of assumed it was going to be quite a straightforward process, but my goodness, far from it. We have breadcrumbs all sort of covered up to, our, up to the top of our arms when we got going on it. So that's the sort of first bit of the product development. And then it was working in the school, the students actually testing those things and finding out what was important to them. They had the opportunity to meet a real fisherman and look at loads of different types of fish, how they're all caught. They learned about all the sustainability side, the different types of boats. They did a bit of crafting and they did loads of making and cooking and eating. Okay, so we've got some whiting, some dogfish. <laughs> the teachers really loved having external people come in to give what they're teaching an anchor really to other people's lives and have the students have that experience that they were really positive about it. That's the uh, call for Just remember which one you're tasting. Yeah. <laughs> the last session we had parents, teachers, friends siblings in at the same time and did their taste test as well. Me and Annie got Okay, that's bad. We'll
start our tale with Phil, our skipper. We're here today and um, we are letting people come in and try which one's their best. Catch for him with low market value. Quarter mad, trade is bad. Next up. So we have our shared vision to take our Plymouth Fish Finger idea forward to the next step and collectively face the challenges that this presents. It's all very well and good if the school students like it, but how do we then make it feasible to get a prototype into the school meal system? This is our next challenge. For us, the Plymouth Fish Finger really represents the catered ed ethos. It's about locally produced, locally sourced ingredients. There is no doubt about it, funding for School meals from government is really, really tight. And whilst I can't make it a loss as a business, it's about how can we deliver the best service possible to children. So when we pull those ingredients together to create the meal, we can adjust the costs of the whole plated meal to actually bring this on board. Some of the more obvious difficulties and obstacles we'd have to overcome are consistency of availability and quality, assurance that it's available for all pupils in all schools. Could we roll it out across the rest of the southwest, Devon, other parts of the country, it's evidencing that children like it and showing that actually it's better and it's different to the commercial packaged fish food. That's actually quite good. Does it taste like meat to fish food? Don't fish the success so far has been down to the amazing collaboration between partners to drive it forward. Without such authentic shared passion, we could not have achieved this. By harnessing this passion, we believe that community-centered food system change is possible.